what's the problem that one minute of oh. Okay. Why can't I speak? Like what is wrong with me? Hey guys, so I am finally getting around to doing my product review video on Kaylee's and Love Beauty, which I feel like it's took for ages. I've been waiting so long on the products and then I really could not find the energy to put a full face on and film. I feel like I'm just repeating every day. Um, but I finally gave myself a bit of a kick up the backside and I was like, right, okay, we better get done now that everything's here. But we may as well get in and talk about the products, the packaging and stuff. And also remember that this is a review on my personal opinion. So somebody might have tried the same product in the exact same shades, using the same products and totally loved it. It's just all about preference. So um, obviously I do watch these and take in bits of what everybody's saying and they kind of, if I should purchase it or not. But it's, check what you want. I got two separate deliveries of Doll Beauty because I got two different orders. So my first order was for my Jasmine Lashes and my Lip Gloss. Um, and then my second order was because Doll Beauty sent me a discount code to get 10 lip packs of lashes for, I can't remember, I think it was like £40, £35, £40. So obviously I couldn't, could not miss the opportunity. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to try them and see what I think. They came in two different packages, but the packages came in, I my address, came in the nicest wee bags with obviously the logo on them. Um, this was the one with all the lashes in it. So it's got all my lashes, which we do love to see is the stuff that didn't come with them was obviously my lipstick and my lashes and they came in a separate bag with the cutest tissue paper. So I know this is so stupid because it's really not that big a deal, but how cute is that tissue paper? With like a logo on it, I just thought it was really cute. So anyway, that came as well. And then I've got my bronzer, which I have not used yet, but it came in the same packaging, kind of similar packaging of what the highlighter came in. And the, the actual box itself that the bronzer's in, like the product itself, is so cute. It's in like a little heart. Um, so I thought that was really cute and it's obviously just got like the logo and stuff and I got this in shade dark because there was literally like this in one other shade and there is only four shades that they do so it was kind of hard so let's hope it's not too dark um, or that's going to go downhill quick but anyway we'll go further into them and then I got the P. Louise base and shade Drummer and I got the Acid Rain P. Louise in Mitchell Ibiza like eye paint so it's like a wee purple colour so it's really really cute and I thought with summer coming in I use I do wear quite a lot of pinks and stuff so I thought well We'll put it to the taste. I won't be using this today um, just because it doesn't go with the eyeshadow that like, people have asked for on my Instagram page but I will definitely be using this so soon um, when you all get to see what it's like. Okay so let's get started on actually using the product and seeing what we think. So I am just out a shower. I've washed my hair so that's how it's kind of a mess at the back. I've done a face scrub on my face to make up so I'm now going to moisturise it put the Vaseline on my lips and just get that all organised and ready for a lovely fresh face of makeup. So I've been using simple skin products now for the past like couple of weeks maybe. Well the full of lockdown, we've been on lockdown for three weeks so far. So I've been using simple products for three weeks and so I used to always take an allergic reaction of simple products because I have really sensitive skin and I literally take an allergic reaction to absolutely everything. Um, but I always took like reactions and then I was like, do you know what, I'm going to try it again. Like, I think it was like a wee set and it looked quite good. So I was like, do you know what, I'm just going to try it. Like, pick it up and see what people say. And actually I have really been enjoying using my, I feel like my skin's been totally um, better, it's not been as kind of spotty and dry and stuff as well and because I've been off um, on lockdown unfortunately um, it's actually given me time to look after myself so I feel like obviously I work two jobs, I work in a nursery and then I work um, in a salon doing lashes and makeup and I feel like it's so easy to forget to do your own um, 
glam like because you're so busy like getting everybody else ready and getting their glam on that really this has been like the first time in so long that I've actually like looked after myself like done like I don't know like face masks like quite often whereas sometimes I would do them maybe like twice a month I mean, whereas I've had so many on because I've obviously had the time which does make a difference I totally need to make time for yourself and so good to actually have time for myself which is so weird Going in with my primer, which by the way, I'm just totally, totally loving that. Oh, right, letting that set. I don't know why I can do that. As much as this is a product review, I'm also making a bit of a tutorial because people want to see the makeup look that I've done previously. Um, so obviously, I want to make sure the tutorial is well and everything's sitting the way it should be for the outlook that I had done previously before using these new products. Um, but when I've tried the P. Louise base on its own, like I'd seen loads of people doing, I personally thought the coverage wasn't that good. So I know people totally love it. I don't know, I have quite dark eye like eyes. But uh, so I tried it the other day and the just the coverage really wasn't doing it for me at all. Um, which is a bit of a shame because we had really high hopes, I feel, and it just totally did not do that. So, I am going to use my Too Faced, but I will put that over the top of my Too Faced, but basically I just need more coverage than what that was giving me. Also, when I ordered the P. Bees, um products i also ordered this it came as a deal actually i think the deal was like 30 pound and um and you got these brushes so your flat brush and then you've got your small brush and then you've got your angled brush so it comes as like a wee paintbrush set which is really cute um and then obviously you take it off and then brush it up inside so i thought it was really cute i liked um the the pack so i'm going to start with my concealer and I'm going to just pop some on my eyelids. Um, no, I just feel like the coverage is so much better with this concealer, personally. Um, but this concealer does crease a lot, especially because I have got hooded eyelids, which I abs um, which I absolutely hate that I've got hooded eyelids and it leaves the crease marks and stuff, and I hate it. Um, and people obviously have said how this is really good to stop that. So I obviously will be using this in it, but I'm just not using this as my main um, concealer just because I don't feel like it gives the coverage that I like and looking for um, maybe if you had nicer skin than me it would give you the coverage that you need but I uh, personally it's not not working for me so I'm just popping this on um, and just patting it right into the skin so it just gives such a better coverage um, I have seen a few people, I've seen like mixed reviews on the P. Louise base about coverage. Um, loads of people love it and then loads of people are just totally like not for it at all. Like just can't, can't see me have the coverage that they want. Oh, and with their flat brush and it's super, super cute, it's yellowy. All the colours of the brushes are so summery, which I like. But I'm just literally putting the smallest amount on the back of my hand because people have said it goes like so long so I don't really want to be hanging on and all I'm doing is I'm taking my brush and I'm just flattening it out onto my skin um, and putting it flat on the brush as well and trying not to get too much product on it either just because again you don't want to be taking loads and loads of product on it does not sit nice it doesn't give a nice finishing look build up on your product it's the same as everything I mean but yeah Just 
So like straight away you can already see with the whole like creasing like even when I crease my eyelids. So at this side I've obviously got like the build up of product and the crease and this I've not got it. So that is a positive for me because I always end up with the crease marks in my eyelid all the time and I absolutely hate them. Um, so I feel like that is a massive positive for me. So I've seen also loads of people using this differently. So I did obviously have a look on the P. Louise um, Instagram page and they recommended to obviously pat it on and I've seen loads of people doing that. Then I've seen loads of people putting it on with beauty blenders as well, which I actually don't own a beauty blender. It reminds whether to order a beauty blender and try it and then I was like, well, if it works for me in this way then, well, I'd just be wasting money because I wouldn't have any use for a beauty blender. Oh, sugar, I don't use them at all, so. <clears throat> so, for this look, I'm going to make one back with, of course, my two favourite palettes. The palettes I absolutely love by. And I feel like, Joe, I love by these palettes just because they have every colour you need. Do you know what I mean? Like, they just, they've, I don't know, and the pigment's really good and it just makes a difference. So, I'm using the be Perfect Carnival Palette Sesame Marie and then the Jawbreaker Jeffrey Star one as well and I'm just using the similar kind of colours out them. I'm going to start with the Jawbreaker palette and I'm going to go in with the shade Wow um, and I'm just going to start above my crease. Okay so I've actually creased a wee bit. So I'm just going to pat that out and hope that um, that was a fault of my own and not a product fault. Um, so I'm just patting that out and I'm going to do the same here and let's just hope that's what that is. Okay, we'll give it the benefit of the doubt. Okay, so we're going to start above where the crease is and I'm going to go in with the yellow. So for this look, obviously in every other look you're kind of going from one end to the other and make the meat but you're not doing it with this look at all, you're only taking it halfway. So I'd probably say it like here. So kind of where the corner of your eyebrow is, and um, where the arch sorry, of your eyebrow is, and just blend them out. So all I'm doing is literally bring it out to the edge. So then I'm going to go in with Suck from the Jeffree Star palette and I'm just going to go along here and suck to the motions. And remember we don't need to be like totally digging the brush into our eyelids, just do it nice and softly. The more gentle get a nice little set on your eyelid. Is just bring it down a wee bit further than what I would usually bring my, my shadow down. Cross over to the Carnival palette and use the shade Lit um, and go over that orange that I've just done just because this orange is more of a like a summer orange. So just again all you're doing is building up your pigment. Building up your shade, getting it to your your happy, happy colour. So, then I'm going to end with a nice blending brush. We're going to go and use Keen from the Sesame Marie Carnival palette and go over the orange and just blend it out with some yellow. we're going to use 
raspberry um, and just build up on that kind of red tone. So what I do with the red is I blend it out through the orange and then I focus on the kind of bottom edge and just make that a wee bit darker. Just to give it more depth. So the only positive thing, well not only positive thing, but like a good positive thing about this lockdown, which I'm trying to find a positive in uh, every bloody day I feel, is that I feel like it's totally giving me more time to focus on my makeup and try different looks that I maybe wouldn't have done before because I just wouldn't have the time. But it's totally does make a difference and I'm loving that I'm being able to do that. I'm going to be using the Peaches and Cream pigment <clears throat> and I'm going to be using Peril. So I'm then going to go in with my flat brush again and a small bit of Peel Away. So literally just a tiny wee dot. Again, pat it out. So look how much came for that tiny dot. I mean, you definitely don't need like loads. So I'm just going to open my pigment up um, just so that it's all sitting ready for me. I'm going to take this and I'm just going to into that and I'm just going to pat it down just so I don't mix the concealer and the shadow together small amount again of peel these so I just like I prefer um you see like small amounts of products and then if I need more I need more So obviously you want to see the effect of this pigment, but at the same time you don't want it to be too overpowering. So also, which I never even mentioned, um, when doing your pigment, you want to bring it down only so far. So obviously I've left like this bit out just because you obviously are doing a winged eyeliner and you're going to smoke it out. So you don't really want to be mixing too much of the pigment and your eyeshadow together because um, it doesn't really give off a nice effect. I'm going to go in with, do you know what, buying this in the wrong shade just totally came like in handy, I feel. So buying, not buying, take my Milani Stay Put Matte Eyeliner in shade Coffee, which was totally an accident when I bought this. It turned out to be good. I'm going to look straight forward, I'm going to do middle line, crease line, middle line. And we're going to join up the lines. So 
So I hate, like, hate vanilla and eyeliner. Because I have got poofed eyelids, I just it totally does not suit me. But it's fine because we don't we're not going to over it. What do we roll with it? And activate. Is it that annoying? See. Did God just not want to give me nice eyelids? Like, no. Like, oh, well, like, if you're happy to make makeup, but doesn't mean she's got good eyelids. Like, won't we'll make it a everyday struggle for her. That took me so long to get that sentence out, but I was going to do it. It doesn't help as well. Deep concentration, I also stick out my tongue and I'm trying so hard not to stick out my tongue because you know it's not really a look that I really wanted to go in for. I thought I was going to mess it up and you could totally hear it in my voice. It's like feeling me. Oh, sharp hairs. Take over there. They might dry a small. Why they are like? Does anybody else, as soon as they need something to dry, be like, or is that just just me? Probably just me. Okay, so I'm going to run with Carnival Palette, I'm going to use Rowdy and I'm going to take it along where I've done my eyeliner and then I'm just going to smoke it out a little bit. Okay, so honestly, the base, the P. Louise base, I really, really wanted to be written for it and I feel like I'm not at all in the slightest. Like I probably wouldn't even buy it again. Is that too harsh? I feel like that was too harsh. But I just don't think I would. Like I feel like it definitely doesn't help really with my makeup at all. Like maybe, like, okay that's a bit of a total exaggeration. Like it did make a small difference. Maybe not enough. Though it made me want to buy it again. Do you get that? Maybe I need to just use it a few times and understand the product. Because I've done this in my foundation and I really love my foundation. So maybe I just need to kind of give it the benefit of the doubt and use it a few times. And then I'll be like, wow, I was so wrong. That's so good. Like I'm saying, I'm just putting it along the top of where I did my liner and I'm just literally smudging it out. Um, And then I'm going to go in with just a black liner. Edges of my liner doesn't go the way I want it. Okay, that did not work. That sometimes when I mess up the edges of my wing liner, like I just can't take my finger and like smudge it out. And sometimes it's a really good like wee trick hack thing. But I just done it there and it totally didn't work. Okay, so I'm just going to take a baby bite and remove any loose pigment that fell off my face. Pop some spray on and then chill for a few minutes just to let it set because sometimes the black liner that I popped on transfers to the top, which is not what you want. Right. 
So now I'm just going to go in with some mascara. Put that on my top lids. So I'm literally just using, I don't even know what I'm using, Rimmel Extreme Black Scandalize Reloaded. Right, well that's just, like, really can my day get any worse? Like, it's going so bad. Like, I don't even have, like, a stutter or any speech problems. Like, not that there's anything wrong with that. But all I do when I go on video is, like, mess up what I'm doing. Oh, Is it bedtime? Is it? Now that I put my mascara on, I'm going to go in with a pair of Doll Beauty lashes, which I've already used and measured to my eyes, so I won't be doing that. Um, but I totally love these lashes. They're not definitely not what I would usually go for at all. They're not my like go-to type of lashes in the slightest, but they're so nice. So they are. Doll lash and they're the Samantha lash. So obviously I took them out and cut them and stuff so they're a wee bit different than how they were first sitting and I might have actually bought two of these, I don't know. Anyway. It's like But that is how they come. Obviously you have just noticed doing that, but that's what they look like. So now I'm going to pop them on hopefully without anything else happening. But they're just such a nice lash. Like I bought them these in the bulk pack, uh, the bulk order that I've done. Um, and I basically, usually I would buy like 10 lashes that I like and would only really go for. And I was like, do you know what, like, I may as well just buy loads of different ones, see what I think. I might surprise myself and lo and behold, there Samantha comes along and surprises me. So, there she is. Okay, so while I'm doing that, I'm just going to take my Doll Beauty highlighter, which I'm so gutted about because I've not even had it that long. And I went in to my beauty drawer and like the wee gold, like plastic stuff came off. I mean, really, it's not a big deal, is it? But it was just kind of done. And I'm just going to highlight this wee bit here, like so. It doesn't seem different, it's just see. Perfect. Back in there, and then we're just gonna go and put our little lashes on. Oh, really, my life is going down now. So definitely, like I've only tried these and the jasmine ones. I did like the jasmine ones as well, but I don't know if that's probably just because it's called jasmine. You know, I tend to do that because I don't get many things with my name on it. So then I usually just like things that have the word jasmine on them. But I just I really like these smart lashes. That's just a thing. Right? So now I'm going to pop on my lash. The only thing about these lashes that I do have to say is the like band on the lashes. This is so pernickety and stupid and like genuinely but the band on the lashes aren't as um, flexible as a Prefer. I know that is so immature, but we got this Amanda lash on. Like, how nice are lashes? I had my three permanent lashes on, which I absolutely love. I did low key like miss wearing false eyelashes just because I would admit that I genuinely am actually addicted to them. Okay, perfect. So now I'm actually going to pop on my foundation, hopefully not spill it on my top like I did the last time because this is a brand new top from I saw it first and it was on sale down to £7.50. Uh, it's just as great. Okay, pop them on my foundation. Okay, let's see what bits we can catch first. Right, okay, so I'm going to start with my 
forehead. So I still do the same even though I don't do my brushes first. I basically kind of still follow the same pattern that I do when I do do them first. And it's just brushing the product through them. Again, red pigment things. Got to be covering that up. I sounded quite like um, somebody from Bristol there. So when putting on my few moments later concealer to cover obviously to set my eyeshadow, I drag it out, which I always mention in my videos, but especially for looks like this, I drag it out just because it means that when I'm doing my foundation, I'm not having to go as close to the makeup to make it neat. Um, because sometimes, especially with like any bigger brushes, you tend to hit the makeup and then you get frustrated. Oh, well, anyway, I do. Then you get frustrated and it just doesn't work. Um, it just doesn't, just doesn't do it. For my concealer so just all my usual areas covering up the bad boy bags getting them cheekbones defined and try to make that small that small small heads for bigger yeah I can't I can't talk that's full video. This has literally been over an hour. Well, it was a way it's so probably won't be that long, but this has literally been over an hour of me talking absolute gibberish because I can't speak. <sighs> okay. So all I'm doing is blending out my concealer by patting it into the skin again, nice and gently. So I know like I'm really heavy handed, so it definitely doesn't look heavy. Um, like, ah! I know Rupert's on, I know, he's so impressed. Um, obviously I'm heavy handed so it definitely does not look like I'm doing it gently. I could totally agree but I actually am. So I'm taking the Sleek Face Form Baking and Setting Powder and the shade Light and then I'm just going to take my PC03 Peaches and Cream brush which is an angle brush and I'm just going to pop on my powder. So I also make sure that I focus on all my oily areas which I have okay so now I'm going to move on and use <clears throat> my doll gimme sun bronzer so usually I do use three bronzers <clears throat> But I'm just going to be using this one um, and see what it's like and if I need to use other bronzers to maybe 
chill out a bit then we'll see we'll just we'll just ride we'll ride through it and we'll see what it's like so as i said before it comes in the cutest wee black packaging ever um obviously get the shade in the back and the little box is magnetic as well which i literally just noticed so it's like oh that's good because there's nothing worse than a bronzer that opens and then cracks and falls all over your back that's great and then that's just sitting inside of it with a wee oh mirror and that just fell out of so that's great but anyway super cute it does look quite dark so we'll see how it goes so just take a small bit on a big brush and i'm going to just start oh oh this is not that oh maybe it is quite dark we'll see we'll work with it and i'm just going to do it along my cheek line um, and see how it goes oh that is that like can we now that is a sm like the smallest amount of product that i put on my face and that's so oh Okay, and I'm just going to pop a small amount under here just to try and shadow out that double chin. That girl must be in, I'm not feeling anybody, but we'll just go with it anyway. Because it just makes me love that. You can see that that's highly rated. Also, I have that lip gloss by Doll Beauty as well, and I did have a new shot of that, and one that doing very good at the way. Anyway. I just do that. I'm actually going insane again. It's fine. It's cool. Nobody needs to know. Right. Okay. So now I'm going to go in with my Doll Beauty highlight. Um, and the shade Shine Bright. And I'm just going to pop it on my areas, my usual areas that I do. use the shade lit and I'm going to just brush that along Shade. And then we're going to go in with Rowdy from the same palette and just start now. out. Right, I'm then going to spray my face. I feel like it's just a thing that I do and I just need to accept it and stop being so embarrassed about it. So now I'm going to go in and do my brows. So again, I'm, it's just the same as I've done before. So obviously if you want, you can do your eyebrows like how I do them I, like most times um, I've just done them like this because I feel like it suits the look a bit better but again it's total preference so that's up to you on how you want to do that I'm going to now just go and quietly pop on some mascara my bottom lashes using the same mascara that I've done before And 
then again with my wee trick that I always do is taking a lip liner that is similar to your lip shade and just throwing slightly over the line. and then I'm going to take the Doll Beauty Lip Gloss so it is so cute so it's called Doll Gloss it comes in this wee packaging and this is the actual look of the gloss so I was quite surprised when I seen this because um, the actual gloss itself comes with like a wee applicator I thought it was going to be like one of the kind of old fashioned ones that you've done that way. I don't know why I thought that actually to be fair but anyway that's what I thought it comes in that and this is in shade hashtag blogged so to put that on things can all see. So totally love this. I'm just gonna do a last spray to set this all off. And we have the finished look, which is, I just love this look so much. So overall opinion on the products was definitely a bit of a shock. I thought that I was going to totally love um, the P. Louise base. Not that I hate it, it's, that's definitely not what I mean, but um, it's not what I thought it was going to be. I didn't think it was going to be um, as much of a kind of let down as what I thought. I thought it was going to have definitely better coverage and I feel like it's, I don't know, it's thick. But you would think with the thickness it would have a good coverage, it, it doesn't really. But I will definitely use this, will I buy another one? We'll see. Maybe it's just something I need to kind of get used to using because um, I've seen so much mixed reviews on this and they sell out amazingly all the time. So maybe it is just a personal thing um, or maybe I'm not applying it right. It's all beauty products. So my lashes, my lip gloss, my bronzer, highlighter I already had. Um, I just totally, totally love them. I definitely have nothing if all at all I'd like apart from maybe we pernickety stuff but again that means absolutely nothing when it comes to the actual use of the products totally love them I feel like they all give such a good look such a good finish um and I would definitely recommend for anybody to at least try the products um because I do feel like they will definitely be staying in my makeup bag um but yeah, and obviously the brushes that I got from Peelies in that set. I haven't used the angle brush. I've used um, the kind of small fine brush, but then obviously I use the flat brushes, which are great. That flat, flat, bleh, flat brush is great for cutting creases and stuff. It's definitely good. So you could, would definitely recommend buying the brush set. Again, obviously this review is based on my personal opinion. How I kind of look for stuff is on for like for me for coverage for me obviously when doing my makeup um, and for my clients as well um obviously every makeup artist says and makeup differently and looks for different things with different products so people have such a different opinion on everything out of beauty and beauty bees, although i did have a few more bits to go by on dog beauty but like in this review dog beauty definitely won not that it was a competition but if it was this helped anybody who is thinking of purchasing any of the products that have been used in this if you're wanting any more product reviews then please let me know of the products from anything from tan skincare products even clothes and outfits like anything i'm kind of open up so this is the finished look super easy to do i find um maybe take a few attempts to get it perfect how you want it but i totally love it i feel like it's such a good going out look um so i hope you enjoy recreating it and trying out any products Bye guys. Once you begun.